can you master mechanical engineering or civil engineering without mathematics why you are asking this question are you feeling insecurity no 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 yeah. you, you are mechanical engineer mm. uh, i am a mathematics teacher mm. i am teaching mathematics from mm. last 25 years mm. so i have a doubt mm. because you have completed a mechanical engineering btech mm. mtech mm. and you worked as a scientist mm. in bark mm. uh, you have 13 14 years of teaching experience mm. in mechanical engineering mm. you you are ev- evolving with so many subjects in mechanical engineering mm. that's why i'm asking you mm. uh, is without mathematics can you master mechanical engineering or civil engineering sir <clears throat> these days you will find people saying that uh, we are visualizing things mm. huh? what is engineering first you have to understand it to answer your question in engineering what we will do real life problems we have mm. hmm? we are creating mathematical model of it and study yes simple that is whole engineering mm. there is a beam mm. hmm? we are creating mathematical model and studying that is so yeah fluid is flowing that is a physical problem mm. we are creating some equations mathematical, mathematical model models model and then we are solving differential equation mm. and we are heat transfer mm. i want to analyze if heat is flowing how temperature is changing mm. i am writing some equations and then solving and getting the answer what i am doing you are using mathematics we are using mathematics in application oriented oriented ha na yes yes so see why mathematics is required mm. if i am giving you one slab mm. okay let's say i am giving you one slab okay here temperature is different here temperature is different mm. hmm can you calculate how temperature is varying as heat is flowing like this in mm. this manner no you mm. cannot con- con- you, you, you yeah. have to do experiments yeah. only uh, you have to give justification justification what mathematics is doing by applying basic principle it is giving justification so something we cannot suppose uh, this room is practically uh, so room, room is there i want to put one beam mm. i don't know i cannot think ki uh, what should How be the width load. height and yeah, length yeah. of the beam should be so what i am doing i am creating mathematical model of it yes and then we are analyzing wherever Simple. wherever you cannot explain hmm. the thing hmm. there mathematics will start uh, mathematics will start you will to prove that. you you will pr- make models yes how will you make model hmm. using mathematical concept mathematics. complete engineering is nothing but converting the physical world problem into a mathematical model, model. and then engineer it as per your need yes yes so engineer is nothing without mathematics if okay. somebody is claiming that he can do engineering without mathematics na hmm. he is a super fool hmm you in what is the difference between you and me you do pure mathematics yes yes okay you develop pure mathematics what we do is we assign physical meaning to those equations equations ha huh. like you 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 learn to solve second order differential equation mm. okay what we are doing we are using that second uh, uh, second uh, order differential equation in, in fluid and heat problems yes right like laplace equation is mm. a differential equation yeah mathematicians are interested in their solution solution not in interpretation yes yes we interpret now same laplace equation you can use for temperature mm. for uh, steam function mm. for velocity function electrical engineer may use for flux also mm. eh? so yes. but their mathematical uh, framework is same 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 so everybody has to understand that without understanding the mathematics you cannot do anything in engineering Yes. The first subject you have to master in the engineering is mathematics. Mathematics. Yes. For mechanical and civil engineering, especially, I am telling you, uh, calculus and yes. probability Basic they are calculus. two main yes. courses, right? Yeah. Yeah. Especially calculus. Yes. Calculus vectors very important for mechanical engineering. Yes. Complete sum mm. is calculus. Yes. Complete fluid heat is calculus. Yeah. Huh? Complete engineering mechanics is a calculus. Yeah. Complete Dynamics theory of machine uh, is. Co- vector concept wow, is vector concept yes. so calculus is almost all 50 to 70% of complete mechanical and civil engineering yeah topic name is different you will re- find fluid mechanics mm. inside you are doing calculus Use, yes yes heat transfer inside you are doing calculus right. thermodynamics inside you are doing calculus, calculus. basic calculus yes, yes without mathematics engineer cannot survive simple yeah. if they are thinking they are surviving they are in a different illusion yeah yeah first uh, generally students wants uh, technical subjects mm. to understand technical subjects basic subject is required na that mm. is mass mm. you have small kid at your uh. home 
when he is touching uh, some hot thing, mm. you are just saying, don't do that. Mm. Do you explain why not to do it? No. No. No, na. <laughs> why? Actually... Even if you uh, explain that to small kid of one year, one point five year, mm. he can't understand. I understand. Yes. But just we explain him what do this and don't do this. Yes. Yes. Later on, as he will grow up, he yeah. will himself know why my father told me not to touch hot object mm. because that will create a hot burn. Yes. Yes. Right. Mathematics is like that. Yeah. Initially, mathematics should be learned because it is a language of science. Science. Everything yes. in the engineering has to be. Done but with the help of yeah. uh, mathematics, mathematics only. Even biology people cannot survive without mathematics. Yeah. There is a subject Ma known as mathematical biology. Yes, yes. <laughs> huh? So ma without mathematics, survival is not there. Yes. 